just how fit everyone looks and how physically strong they look. They had a tremendous off season. I think they carried that through the summer and on day one, it's a quick analysis of, okay, where do we stand physically to know how far we can push them? And they are clearly ready to go. So that was a great sign. Well, I feel like there's all, it's always teaching, right? In college, it just, they come in so young and even though they graduate at 21 or 22, there's, they're just kind of getting their teeth into what they're going to be as a player. So I think I feel like that's kind of our mode anyway. All three of us were former youth coaches. We're big believers that our seniors should be playing because they developed for four years. So I don't think it changes just because they're younger, but there's probably more one-on-one -on -one conversations, more little extra video here and there with the young players. Yeah, it evolves for sure. You want to see what kind of belief level they have when they have a bad moment or if they give up a goal or they find themselves in a hole and we haven't experienced that yet, so you gotta go through that to get there. I think you also find what kind of spirit they'll have on day four of preseason, because of course everyone's excited today, and it's just typical Lubbock, right? Rained all day, so you know we're used to that. But uh, they have great spirit on the front end, and who's grinding on Saturday? And who's got something in the tank next week when we really uh, are pushing them physically and mentally? And so those things have to evolve. Part of it is a rite of passage, part of it is a, uh, maturity and another part is you know do they come together and encourage each other the ones that are exhausted can they pick them up and get them to carry through because n nobody's going to take it easy on you on a sunday afternoon game in the big 12. so we can't take it easy on each other when we're pushing each other to be at that level this spring like we lost all the seniors last year so we really um it's kind of like a start over so it's really good that we got um, some of our freshmen to come early so we got to integrate them and get them like part of the program and get them caught up so they can help the freshmen now like um, get caught up faster because these girls already have the experience. I feel like as soon as the coaches get back together, like now that we're with the coaches, I feel like it'll come together a lot smoother. We really hit it hard in the summer, so we already have a jump on it. But now that the coach is here, it's all about like the perfecting the little details. Most of the girls are already caught up, and I feel like we're a really strong unit. Um, I think as a senior, it's kind of something that you just have to embrace because everybody else on the team knows you've been through three years already. and. I think knowing it, knowing that it's your last year, you're trying to put everything on the table for your last games and your last practices and your last chances with the team. So I think that just that in general brings a leadership role out of you and just pushes the team to do that for you. So your last year is your best year.